What's going on guys? We're back inside of Warcraft Rumble today and it is Beast Week inside of the dungeons. We have done a little bit with our Hogger and we're going to be pushing a little bit more. I wanted to get through a couple of the initial stages on the lower levels just so you wouldn't see me wash over everyone. So here at least we'll have a little bit more of a challenge. The deck we're going in is with our Hogger deck with no talents unlocked. We've got the bubbles for our Murlocs. I like the extra shield. We're coming in with the Quillbore with the poison on, uh, what is it called? Um, immersion, right? Yeah. We got the poison here for our bandits as well. Absolutely love them. A one gold cost, quick for grabbing chests. Really great for stunning your enemies as well. We have the harpies, which also have some poison on them in the town at this point in time. We have the cloaking device for our safe pilot, which the safe pilot... The Lightning, which has an extra cast available, and our Quillbore are all going to be important for one of the stages that we're going to see here in just a moment. What I want to do is take you through all three of the stages of this dungeon and uh, just kind of do it for fun. Let's begin the bungeon, dungeon and see what we got right here. What are we going to choose? Um, relic. Minis explode on death. Leader gains a level each time, and your beast gain 5% additional movement speed for each other beast near, let's, let's go with that one. I haven't used the speed one yet. Sometimes I like to build a push up where speed is not gonna help me, but here with the hogger deck, it's a speedy deck. Let's go on in and take out this guy to start. We're gonna show you everything about each of the dungeons and show you some sticking points that you may need to look out for when it gets more and more difficult as you progress through each of the dungeons. As you can see, we have our big Murloc to deal with over there. Something that you're gonna need to know here is, First of all, we like grabbing those chests quickly. This center platform, Murlocs are gonna go over there, they're gonna start hitting you from high and they can be difficult to get to. This is why I have Safe Pilot, this is why I have my Lightning, and this is why I can use my Quillbore as well to clear out all that. They come from over there on the side. We're gonna then try and grab the top turret first, make our way around, grab some gold, maybe can't grab the bottom turret if we need to, we'll see. And of course, on these top two things up top here, these platforms, more Murlocs will go and they will start throwing from below. So again, we'll probably lightning them out of there. That's the strategy. That's how I'm going about it with this Hogger deck to start. All right, what are we going to go? We're going to go, uh, let's go save pilot right here. We'll just take these guys out right off the bat. Probably not the best drop, but it worked out okay. We'll take that one out. And that was a little bit expensive. Typically, I like to use a lightning there. We're going to go grab this chest right off the bat as well. And I'm going to try and, since we're here, we're going to try and grab this tower. Let's see what we can get. We got those Murlocs coming from behind as well. Quillbore is going to clear that mess up. And I'm going to come with the Hogger right up the bat here. Let's see if we can get it. We got that shut down. Quillbore did a nice job. Can we take down? Let's see what we got here. I'm going to come right here. We don't want them getting that. And we're going to try and grab this gold. Well, they got actually... Let's zap them out of there. We don't want them to get any gold advantage. So there we go. Now they have their Murlocs. I'm going to zap them out of there. Oh, the zap didn't work. Okay. We're one level shy on zapping, so I have to Quillbore there, unfortunately. We have to come over here with the Hogger as well. Because we don't want to lose that tower. We're going to come over here. We're going to grab that chest. And I do want to get some of this gold up here. So there we go. We'll shut that down. We've gotten our tower still. We're good. We're going to come right here and get rid of all this mess. Gonna go in Quill War from behind. Mess that up. Our Hogger's gonna take out that. We got more coming up here. Now, you know, I, they're, they're being quite annoying over here. I gotta shut that down. We're gonna come with some Harpies behind as well. They're coming right up the bat, right up the middle. Can we Lightning these guys out? The Lightning is not strong. My Lightning is one level too low, and that's gonna hurt. So I actually have to use a second Lightning. Bad use of gold over there. Where they... Hmm... Got a safe pilot there, or else they're going to continuously pick at me. And I'm going to come right here with a little bit of poison, just to clean a little bit of that mess up. We got our Hogger and our Quillbore on their boss right there. We do have them out-leveled. This is a way for me to show you guys just how I'm taking things down, whether I'm out-leveling them or if I'm not out-leveling them, just how the boards and how the dungeons specifically work and my strategies for getting through them. I've clearly done this before with some other dungeon evenings. All right, so the first one is complete. Let's move on to the second. That first one, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's the most difficult here, but I would say that uh, it's not the easiest when a lot of those Murlocs just start going crazy, especially when my lightning is not working the way that it should. I could summon two bandits. I like that. 
Elemental damage, gain vulnerability, and flying. You know what? They could evade the first attack. That's actually pretty good, but we're going to go ahead and get some extra bandits on the battlefield here inside of the dungeon. Let's go in and see how we can do here live with all of you. Let me know also below how you've done with these dungeons. I have multiple other... I have to go with Murkai, and I have to go with one of the other beast uh, leaders as well. Now, inside of this dungeon, the green slime is poison. I try to avoid it at all costs. Typically, when I do this dungeon, I'll go with a flying unit. My black rock stuff. My rend deck, specifically. But now we can't. We're going hogger. So we got to kind of take that center lane because we don't want to be just melted. I can send... If the guard tower is attacking something in center lane, I could send some harpies over top and try and clear it out. Uh, that's really all that needs to go on with this one, though. We just got to work out work out the poison, and it's, it's really not the biggest deal. So I'm going to start out with a hogger down here. And look at this. We got some bandits as well. I mean, we can go strong right off the bat. We'll go strong right here. Try and protect. We'll go get some gold. They are coming right up center. So let's go over here with some harpies. They actually got a lot going on. Can I zap any of that? Oh, we cleared it all out. Look at that. Whoa, they have a lot of air units. Can I... All right, we cleaned all that out. Lightning worked out well. It worked out well because they were not the highest of levels. Now, though, um, what are we going to do? We're going to go... Murlocs. We're going to go right here. This should work. Bink. That worked out well. We're going to go with that right there. We still do have that tower, which is good. Look at, look at, we're getting melted in that poison. I hate it. We're going to come with a hogger right up top. Oh, all right. So she's going to get taken down. Boom, well, we're good. We're okay right now. They're coming right up the center. Or I should say up the right. Let's see what we can do now. They have two gargoyles. Oh my gosh. All right, they're going in hard right now. Let's go get this gold. We're going to come right here. We're going to come safe pilot on their faces. We're going to lightning everything. Cleared it all out. And, oh, oh! Safe pilot shut that down. And again, that would be more difficult as you level up even higher. Get into those tougher dungeons. All right, so that is going to be ours. We're going to hog her up here. She's going to get melted in that poison again. Going to go with a couple of more. Here we go. Murlocs. Boom, we got to wait so that they don't deploy themselves too early. And then run away. Beautiful. That worked out well. Nice. And they melted themselves a little bit from my safe pilot. Looks like we're on top right now. We can go with a quill bore right there. We'll lightning everything that may be up there as well. Do we have enough to take it down? We'll go with a second lightning and just quill bore. Nope. Quill bore is not going to have enough. But that's all right. We can just go with another quill bore down there and be able to get it done. Their slime is approaching. Mm-hmm. Go with harpies. We'll go with that, and I'll just go quill bore. I think I could, I think I could quill bore them down right over here. Just, just shut it down, and we'll go with a safe pilot. That should be the end of it right there. Boom. Second one taken down. Again, I try to avoid the poison. It does give me a single lane that I could deal with, but if I place my minis properly, and they, and they, after defending on left will then go center, or after defending on right, will then go center. We can get the value out of those minis to back up our push afterward. Let's take a look right now at the final third one, which is actually quite in-depth. It's a, a larger one of them all. Let me show you what it is. I actually did not know what was behind the waterfall in this one. What relic? Bloodlust we'll gain. Ooh, we can get towers, barracks, and meeting stones spawn a well egg. I do like that. Let's go with, let's go with that one. I actually don't recall where all of the towers are here, but I do like a whelp egg just kind of sitting there to protect. All right. So we have to deal with these creatures that are all around the map. Let me show you this here. There's a lot of mess too. A lot of merc guys. We got a lot of, we got a little, little dinos. All right, so we gotta take down him, him him and then once we take this one down there are three more beyond this waterfall so essentially we're just working our way up the map something that you have to make sure you don't do is send all of your troops straight forward here for the chest before you take out the enemy because if you do they all just get lost you're losing all of them 
So let's not lose our minutes. First things first, we're going to do some defense, okay? We're going to defend right here. We're going to defend right here. Look at that. Yeah, it's a good, uh, a good little talent there. We'll go right here with Quillbor. And I'll actually come behind with some bandits. See if we can get drop some damage over there. Hogger, doing a decent job. Got a little bit of support as well. We'll go with some harpies to back that up. Stunning this pretty well. We'll take that down. Will the quill? Oh, we're gonna go right here with safe pilot. Can we? Can we nail him? Oh, we we actually did not do great there. We missed. But we get we are damaging that a bit. We're gonna turn this way. Uh, actually, let's go. Let's see if I can grab that chest. My hogger is about to go down anyways. Look at all of these. I love the well pegs. All right, cool. So now see that? We're going to turn our direction so we can now go in the right direction. We'll put Hogger right there. He'll do go take a push. We'll go with our Cobalt as well. Oh, look at this. Good stuff. Beautiful. Mine are still going as well. We could say, actually, you know what? We'll go right here. No big deal. We'll go grab this. Shut them down. We're going to go up the take in the back door right here and we'll slide in from behind shut him down beautifully done beautifully done but now it's going to be time that we start getting a push because once that opens up we're going to want to go in here so let's go with another hogger turn it up this way no that way straight ahead straight ahead we're going to go with a minor cobalt and then we'll go straight ahead Notice we have three to deal with up there. So we'll go even with a quill bore right there. We're just gonna kind of speed everything up in here. Shut that one down. Now we gotta deal with the center, which should be fairly easy. We'll go with another hogger. And I'm gonna go with a safe pilot right about now. That'll take it down. And uh, well, that was fun. This is three runs through these dungeons. Three runs, three sets of upgrades to my deck. And it was still fairly easy. Let's be honest, it was not a massive challenge for me to do. The fourth run through would be more difficult. The fifth run would probably be where I start getting stalled. But look at this, all the arc energy we get and the three upgrade slots as well. The value of dungeons is insane. Let's upgrade our army. We're gonna go with the gold on the leader. Always like to get the extra levels on the leader wherever I can. We'll go with gold on a beast because one of my cards inside of this deck is always going to be beast. And uh, unbound is gonna be mm, cycle. Mm, Flying. We're going to go with flying because I believe that is my harpies, which uh, which do a nice job. So as we see this deck right now, here's how it sits. Harpies are at gold. We have the murlocs with the bubble. Uh, no, harpies are at silver. Murlocs with the bubble are at gold. And our leader is gold as well. Make it for a, a much stronger hogger deck. Now notice we do have fast right here. Lightning could probably be pulled out and I could probably drop in... I never use Prowler, ever. We should actually go for an upgrade, try and get one of his talents unlocked because I do not have any talents for Prowler. Super fast and probably would be a great one for this deck. So actually we'll switch this, we're gonna switch Prowler in, put it in there, get an extra level, bring him up to level 14, making him viable for all of this. And we'll unlock a talent very soon. It does bring the cost of the deck up a little bit. Now going from a two gold lightning to a three gold Prowler, but it's still a quick cycle 2.6 deck that I absolutely, well, I, you know what? I wouldn't say absolutely love it. I like it. Let me know what you think. How far are you in your dungeons?